Beach Fayetteville Health Officer Dr. Marty Sharkey says after last year's Labor Day holiday, we did start to see COVID-19 cases creep back up. She says she's a little bit worried about a mix of those cases and some new cases from both last Saturday's game and this Saturday's game here at Razorback Stadium. That was a very crowded stadium. Um, very happy that we had a hog win, but it was very crowded and I didn't see a whole lot of masks. Um, I was watching from my TV and didn't didn't see masks being worn in that crowded um, situation. That was an outdoor crowded situation where we strongly recommend masks being worn. Dr. Sharkey says it wasn't just the crowds outdoors, but also people gathering at bars and restaurants after Saturday's game against Texas that has her worried. With a hog win, we know that people went home and celebrated more or went to bars and restaurants and then they were inside congregating without masks. So all of that um, I think makes everybody on this phone call anxious about what we're going to see. The hog call's not not a COVID friendly thing. <laughs> Yesterday, Governor Hutchinson said he's hopeful hogs fans were vaccinated at the Texas game. You saw the crowd there. Everybody did. By the way, it was a great victory. And I think all of the state was very happy with that victory over uh, Texas. Uh, but in terms of the crowd, uh, I just hope that, uh, you know, 60, 70 percent of that crowd was vaccinated. Dr. Jose Romero said if we do see a spike in cases, it would be at least a week from last Saturday before we see those numbers. We would tend to see this about a week after five to seven days after we should start to see um, increasing numbers of cases. The University of Arkansas has been holding COVID-19 vaccine clinics at all of the games so far this season. Dr. Sharkey says 31 people were vaccinated at the Rice game and 15 people were vaccinated at the Texas game. This weekend's game against Georgia Southern kicks off at 3 o'clock on Saturday. Reporting live in Fayetteville, Emma Claybrook, 4029 News.